What is the realm coming to? Hail, fair maid! Well, if it isn't Eridor, have a seat. You've ample choice. Who are you and what have you done with the barkeep? <laughs> the one I know ain't prone to melancholy. She is when word of a fellow barkeep's misfortunes reaches her. It's all in this letter. People are taken to plunder and to survive this war. 
and my friend's tavern was destroyed beyond repair. Here's hoping your fine establishment escapes unscathed. I... I can't bear to think of what I'd do without this place. My heart goes out to you. As if times weren't hard enough with customers. <sighs> I can't think straight for worrying so much. Well, you're a soldier, aren't you? Can't you just go out there and crush your enemies so we can be done with all this? <laughs> if only it were so easy. But I wouldn't give to wield a flagon every day instead of a blade. Never took you for the type to make excuses, Eridor. Eridor is doing everything he can. The realm suffers because of my failings. Forgive me, Lord Woolfort. It was hardly my intention to blame you. What with things being as they are, I haven't been myself these days. But enough of this. All the moping in the world won't change a thing. It's time for action. My lord, as you can see, I'll have no choice but to shutter my tavern if the war doesn't end. And soon. So let me join you. I think you'll find that pour an ale isn't the only trick I have up my sleeve. Ah, but where are my manners? Pasabar is the name, my lord. At your service. A barkeep I may be, but good drink isn't the only way I know how to heal what ails people. I can vouch for that, my lord. Hasabara is good to have around in a pinch. Then I see no reason to refuse. You are most welcome among us. Ha! Heartening to see you're the decisive type. I won't let you down. And you've made a good decision as well. Couldn't have picked a better lord to serve, I tell you. Aye. I gathered that the way you're always singing his praises. My lord, please reconsider. Esfrost's numbers are overwhelming. We would only be sending our men to their doom. I will not stand idly by as the capital burns. Move, you fool! I'll go by myself if I must. Make that bastard Gustadolf remember how true my aim is. It's too late, my lord. Whiteholm has fallen, and the capital has been taken. Damn it all. Do his majesty and the royal family still live? There is no news, my lord. Heavens be good. A dream of peace so soon dashed asunder. And under my watch? Your majesty, pray live long enough that I might atone for my failure in person. My lord, I fear there are other concerns. The S. Frosty army may not stop at the capital. Yes, the three high houses might still unite against them. We must prepare for the worst. Raise the alarm. It's time to muster our defenses. House folks will not surrender without a fight. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It should arrive anon. Thank you, Sir Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. 
You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? We are. Open the gates, Arador. Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing. Over there! Ah, there's too many of them. We need to turn back. Give it up! There's nowhere to run! Damn it! They shut us in! Is this it? If this is where I fall, I'm taking these S Frosty bastards with me! Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need to fend them off till then. Can we do that? I fail to see why not, if you lend us your strength, that is. As if I would do aught else. Form around the prince, protect him. The prince is on the bridge! Seize him! They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear. But of course. The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. We must find a way to open it, and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Leave our pursuers to me. Open the gate, whatever it takes. Come at me! To victory! Time to work. Sup? 
The dawn defeat is not an option. Now I end this. I see a path to victory. Preparation is key. I'll take you on! Look to my shield! To work. Shall we begin? Victory goes to the quick. We'll get him yet. I fight for peace. The dawn. I will end this. This'll hurt. You won't escape. I must. There they are! Seize the prince! Quickly now, before more arrive! Here I come! Engulfs you. 
forward. It's open. Go. them escape! Capture the royal brat! Kill all the others! Protect the prince! No matter how many come, our blades will keep them at bay. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We cut our way through. You won't beat me! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Let us steal our defenses. Aye, I'll keep on then. At your command. Shall we begin? I'm behind you. I can keep fighting! I will end this. Stay right there! Not this time. Oh, careless of me. Nice try. On my honor as the dawn speaker. Your final moments of purpose. Your orders? Allow me. Sound strike. Have another! For the honor of House Wolfort.
perish. Come at me! Show me what you're made of. I see a path to victory. You were overconfident. They fight something fierce. Here goes. Shall we begin? show you what I've learned.
I shall do what I can. This is what I do. Much appreciated. I shall protect you. Prepare yourself! shall prevail. I 
will end this. I shall do what I can. Let us feel our defenses. How gracious. Ready. Die already! 
I shall do what I can. Thank you. Flames, heed my call. I shall try my level best. Let us steal our defenses. Well done! We doing this? I'll send you flying! How about that? My stratagem is superior. I will end this. This'll hurt. I feel stronger already. This is the end. I'll take you on! shall prevail. This is what I do. I owe you. My turn. My last strikes true. If I still breathe, I still fight. Strike true! Just as I planned! 
Here I come. Darkness engulfs you. You're open. Forward. Wait your turn. We win. Huh, that's it. Time to work. The boat arrives! Come, with speed! Prince Roland, will you leave your brother unavenged? You! Go! Leave this place. The Archduke will be content with your father's head. Never. S. Ross will answer for its crimes today. Your Highness! A shame. You might have lived a long life. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Sir Maxwell! My Prince, you are responsible for more than just your own life now. You are a leader, and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. My friends of House Wolfort, I leave Prince Roland in your care. Let me go! Release him to me, and there may be mercy for you yet, Maxwell. It is you who should be seeking mercy. Must you do this? Very well. Shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. I could not have said it better myself. How do you still stand? You were this realm's fiercest warrior, Dawn Spear. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins.
And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Esfrost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies.
I hope I did not disappoint. You got it. I've been waiting for this! I will end this. From us. Now it's my turn. Ain't no 
over yet. Sorry to worry you. Forward. I shall try my level best. Stay composed. We'll get him yet. Go! Oh! They got me. I shall do what I can. Thank you, friend. Almost. Allow me. Two ashes. this quick. Over. There is no mercy on the battlefield. My turn. Have another. Cool heads shall prevail. Wide open. 
This'll hurt. My turn. Shall we strike? Perish. Just die already. Out. Here I come. Try this. This battle is won. I will fight to my last breath. Feisty, aren't we? There is no mercy on the battlefield. Stay composed. That'll do! Shall we begin? Be gone with you! My turn! It's one step closer to our hope. Ah! I will end this. I'll take you on! My turn. Suffer. This is the end.
Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is... sycophant. Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold. Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three high houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out, but Avlora will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. <sighs> Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. <gasps> a few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father. What? Please, I don't can you explain? What, what are we going to do? Excuse what does that me. Can you tell me what's happening? I don't understand. Please. Please. Did I hear him wrong? I don't. I don't. Where are you Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us, and against you. His own people are grievous indeed. What has he done to us? <sighs> Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring. And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. 
Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head! Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all-too-short-lived era of peace, and in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Mr. Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded, and it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort, with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with the Hierophant at once. Minister, if I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed. You may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a bird to the palace. Tell them that the Holy One's faithful servant Sorsley would humbly beg an audience. At once, Master. House Falks has failed you. I have failed you! Hi, House! Damn it all! When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? Cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. Whatever is House Telior to do, with King Regna gone, 
We must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool, will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Wolfhorts may choose to ransom the Prince to Esfrost, and return for amnesty for their own domain. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the Prince and Princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. It would seem things have calmed outside the castle walls. What is to become of us now? Word has it the King's Guard's been slaughtered to the last man. We must flee while we have our lives. If they meant to kill ordinary folk like us, wouldn't they have done so already? Even as frosty dogs have some honor then. Who'd have thought? Anyway. There's no point fighting. What'll be, will be. Our people seem less resentful of Esfrost than I would have expected. No doubt due to the Archduke's decision to focus their attack on the castle and leave the town itself unscathed. So, the common folk won't be a problem. That just leaves the matter of the royal family. His Grace and the Crown Prince have been dealt with, and Princess Cordelia has been brought to heel. Prince Roland is the only one unaccounted for, but the men I arranged for hunt him down as we speak. Word has it there's also a sizable bounty on his head. No, he'll not last long. I knew Gustadolf to be a shrewd man, but his attention to detail is nothing short of astonishing. I have seen all I would. Let us return. Lord Serenoa, thank the heavens you're safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. His grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Father... No! Say it is not so! Roland... I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness. 
but I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simon. Hmm? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father. Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you, Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell, you too abandon me now? <sighs> At Gustadolf's command, S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. My lord, the Esfrosti army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. 
Gustadolf's not taking any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. You cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection. Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. But see, Your Highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wolfort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. You must decide. I cannot render a decision here and now. There must be some solution. I understand how you must feel. My brother has put House Wolfort in an impossible position. I cannot begin to apologize. No, you are not to blame. Forgive me, I should not have spoken so. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Halt! This is the encampment of House Wolfort. Splendid! For it's Lord Wolfort himself that I came to see. Lead me to him, my good man. <laughs> Big words from a shady-looking fellow in that ridiculous garb. Be gone at once! Ridiculous? Why, I'll have you know that these robes are a treasured relic of... Did I ask about your robes? I said... Be gone. Wait, I say! Who there? Lord Wolfort! Can you hear me? What's all the commotion here? This strange lad demands an audience with you, Lord Saranoa, and stubbornly refuses to leave. The name's Nard.
grandson and last disciple of the Archmage Grandante, here to offer my services. The Archmage Grandante? Forgive me, but in all my years of studying the arcane arts, I've never once heard that name. You haven't? Oh, I see. I suppose you won't have. Ah, oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. You needn't apologize, miss. Let's start over, shall we? Let me show you just what the final disciple of the Archmage Grandate can do. Incredible. Well, what do you think? I've never seen anything quite like it. Were you born with magic like this? Or perhaps... My illustrious grandfather, the Archmage Grandante, that is, taught me all I know. Please, let me join your army. I'm most certain my sorcery could avail you to no end. Lord Saranoa, this boy possesses remarkable talent. I must admit, he would make a formidable addition to our forces. Thank you, Jila. Narv, I welcome you to House Wolfort. Thank you, my lord. My magic will change the world. Just do wait and see. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go.
Sarah Noah. I... What do you need? Here's what I think. My lord. Lord Saranoa. Well then... I need time. Here's what I think. My lord. Interesting indeed. So... I am decided. What do you need? I wonder about that. Well...
Yes, I see. Sarah Noah. Certainly. However, I wonder. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. I believe I can decide this matter with confidence. So... I agree. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We protect Prince Roland with our lives and drive Esfrost from our home. The judgment is made. The scales tip and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. Very well. Then I will do all in my power to see that it proves the right one. I fight with you, my friend. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Esfrost. After consulting the scales and reaching a consensus, House Wolfort resolved to shelter Prince Roland. Not long after, they find themselves besieged by an elite subset of Esfrost's forces. Commanding the Duchy's armies is none other than General of Laura, the deadly warrior who claimed the lives of Prince Franny and Sir Maxwell with her own hands.
pardon the intrusion, Your Grace. A bird has arrived from House Woolfort. Concerning Prince Roland, no doubt. Hmm. So they refused to relinquish him to us. How intriguing. They will remain loyal to the royal family even if it means their demise. Very well. Send a bird to General of Laura. Tell her to make for the Wolfort Domain at once, and that she is to return with the Prince, or not at all. Yes, Your Excellency.